great organizations is that they have a cult like culture. A cult like culture at the same time. In the sense that we cannot have people in an organization whose value systems are too much at variance with each other and at variance with the organizational level. But when you have a 25, 28 year old HR executive hiring purely on the basis of a mail we have received from some operational head that we require such and such resource for doing such and such work, when you have that kind of a hiring process, then you cannot, you simply cannot hire people on culture. Also, when you have this kind of a culture that professionals act as mercenaries to join organizations and then quit in six months and two years or two years time and go to some other place where they are being hired and offered a higher salary or something. Then this in and out movement is purely on the basis of money and other interests. Then there remains no question of a cultural fit. You see a call center that people in the street where the education rates are generally high. It is impossible to expect that there would be any kind of uniformity of culture or values within. To require so many people that you hire anybody to come provided he has the requisite skills. Similarly in the IT industry. In the IT industry. It is very difficult to have people who belong to the same kind of value mindset. With the result that the organization itself becomes a mercenary, working only and only towards some numerical profit based targets. And then in that scenario, it is impossible that you have that equation prevailing. The individual is going to the organization to do the job. Then you have none of these three equal to each other, and all of them are equal to only. Monetary maximization. The individual is looking at monetary maximization, so is the organization. And the whole purpose of the job is that it fits in a matrix and maximizes the monetary part. Are you getting it? I have given you a video example on the opposite side. That how, how does it happen that there is no question, that there often is no question of a uh, value fit? That happens one. Because the hiring manager himself often has no idea of what the values of the organization are. Even prior to that, sometimes the organization actually has a value, which is the case in 80% of the cities. <coughs> it's something, actually, no. or it just nominally stands for something, so that it may have a nice looking vision of the statement. So, the organization will stand for nothing. Even if the organization does remotely stand for something, it is possible that the hiring manager has some idea. Even if the hiring manager has some idea, then the demand may be so high or the admission rate may be so high that you just have to hire people on the screen. In such cases, and that is the case we find everywhere. everywhere. And in these cases, there is no question that when you enter the organization, you feel, well, I have come to a place where I belong. Belongingness cannot take place and you will never feel that this is a place for my kind of thing. If that happens, that will just be a consequence. That may happen. If you have 5% of you, that may happen. But that will just be a consequence. Then the question arises under what situation is it possible to have a cult like prevalence within the organization? One, the organization cannot be. Used. Second, it's a top water thing. Looking at the top, must have first a culture of their own, must first stand themselves for some time. Only then can flow downstairs. Otherwise, there is no question. What you see all around you is, is clearly the kind of thing they have just before that. 
Nice. Nice. And the findings apply to the profit and non-profit, they cut across all sectors. 